Hello, my name is Harriet Lee Marion. I'm an illustrator. I've worked for various different clients from the New York Times to Google and Vogue and the Folio Society. I work in various different contexts from editorial illustration for magazines and newspapers to narrative books and non-fiction books and also games. The aim of this course is to teach you to be able to generate unique and original concepts and ideas. We'll explore how to develop an illustrative voice and you'll learn how to respond to an editorial brief. The great thing about editorial is that it can be a real challenge to work on in a good way. <laughs> Many editorial deadlines are very fast paced and have a quick turnaround, which means as an illustrator you can build up a portfolio of work quite quickly if you're just starting out and for lots of illustrators creates a backbone for their steady income. So editorial illustration is a context of illustration which occupies the space of illustrating for magazines or for newspapers where the aim of the artwork is to build on the text by pulling out threads of meaning so that you create an engaging artwork that resonates with the text and creates an engaging experience for the audience. It's very intellectually stimulating because one day you could be working on an article about neuroscience and the next day you might be working on an article about feminist theory. I created this course for anybody that likes a creative challenge, whether you're at the beginning of your journey as an illustrator or if you're an existing illustrator wanting to deepen your knowledge and perhaps work in a different context. We're going to look at the process of responding to a brief, from getting the core information to understanding the text, to creating thumbnails and then going through a round of feedback and amends and then eventually creating the finalised artwork. One of the most important foundations of illustration is creating a identifiable personal aesthetic. We'll first cover how to develop a visual language by trying out a range of various different artistic techniques from collage to monoprinting to painting with gouache. We'll also look at how to draw with perspective. I love to use conceptual imagery and visual metaphors within the work that I make because essentially you can distort the logics of reality which allows you to illustrate intangible things such as thoughts or feelings or concepts or theories. And so for this first part of the course we'll be looking at the surrealists of the 1920s. We'll adopt some of their fun drawing exercises and artistic techniques as a way to spur the subconscious and to generate ideas. We'll then take a look at literature and we'll look at how different writers adopt the use of metaphor within their work as a way to convey emotion and feeling. We'll consider how we as illustrators can adopt this technique and use it within our work. With editorial illustration, but also illustration on a whole, I find that when a client approaches you, they're asking for your unique take on a subject. And so it's through your curiosity and your understanding and your ability to form an opinion that you can succinctly communicate an idea in a visual language that's personal to you.